Hello, it's Sean. Today I'm going to be working on putting some decals and flags onto these ships that I've painted for Cruel Seas. I have the British Vospers and the German S-Boats. I purchased some decals from Miscellaneous Miniatures. I'll put a link to their website in the description below. I got some German decals and I got some British decals. The British just include numbers, the Germans include numbers letters and some symbols as well. I'm going to put these on the ships and see how they look. I've not done a lot of work with decals in the past so I kind of tried to learn a little bit. I got some micro set that's going to help to uh, make them easier to place. Um, so we'll kind of learn together. So if you've never done this hopefully it'll give you some ideas as well and if you see something I'm doing wrong let me know because like I said I've not done this for a very long time and I was never very successful when I did decals on models as a kid so first up I'm gonna use a little gloss varnish I'm gonna put that on where the decal will go to give it a nice smooth surface I think for the bossers I'm gonna do the decals kind of in the middle of the side here and then on the uh, and then for the Germans they're gonna go up to the front for the numbers and maybe the symbol will just go right here. I'll apply the gloss varnish to the ships and the places where the decals are gonna get placed and I will let that dry before I try to apply the decal. I'm going to soak the decals in a little bit of this micro set. The decals have been applied, they've had time to dry. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a coat of the gloss varnish over top of them to hold them in place. The starter box comes with sheets for flags. There's a British sheet and a German fleet sheet. Uh, they're nice looking flags. They're kind of glossy paper. You just need to cut them out and then attach them to the ship. So I'm going to use the smallest flags for my Vospers. So first we got to cut them out. I'm going to use a, an X-Acto knife try to get as close to the edges as I can. I'm going to use a little bit of glue on the inside of this to hold it in place. I'll pinch it together and let it dry. I've got the flags. They're glued together. Next, I'm going to attach it to the mast. What I'm going to do is squirt a little super glue onto this, use a needle to apply it. Just I'm going to do a thin bead down the edge. And then once I have that on, I'm just going to hold it to the mast. 
and let it set quick and that will be that. I have the decals and the flags on all these ships. Pretty happy with how they turned out. I put a dull coat on these models so that the gloss that I put on won't be uh, noticeable. For the German flags, how they're cut, because they're just paper, there's a white edge around them. I actually took a little bit of red paint and just went around the edges so that you wouldn't see that. That changes the look quite a bit and makes it look uh, like the flag is complete now. It's a pretty simple thing to add some decals and some flags but they do add a bit to the look of the models and and for me it will help to keep track of which ship is which on the table because I'll be able to know the number and tie it with the card. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this and the other projects that I work on you can subscribe to my channel. Be sure to click the bell so that you get notifications when I post new videos. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and there's links to all those in the description below. If you have any questions or comments, you can put it in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.